And this is Mercenary Kings Reloaded Edition, which released uh, about two hours ago. Uh, what's new? 20 new guns, most of which we might not see except in this title screen. Um, two new characters, which you saw in the middle there. Uh, and, hey, plot! Because Mandrakes. Bye-bye, Royal. Oops. Bye-bye, other guy. And King, I think. Nope, there's King. So uh, you can see quite a few influences here, uh, Metal Gear Solid, uh, we'll see uh, Monster Hunter in a bit, um, and this is basically a platform shooter. So let's actually get started. And uh, I think we're going to go with a new save, obviously. Uh, I do have a save with Empress, but we are going to play Frig, and uh, we are going to stick with her default colours, because Frig's default colours are actually kind of cool. So, there we go. Uh, while I'm at it, chat back. Um, yeah, we've seen the story in the attract mode. And, uh, yeah, we're just thrown straight into it. Now, the DLC is from uh, Flint Hook, owning Flint Hook. And we'll be getting to that when we get to it. So, mandatory tutorial level. That's fine, that's good. Radio instructions. Uh, so basically, uh, I'm using keyboard at the moment, and that is K, uh, I for knife, L for dodge roll, and J for using things. Reload with space, and you'll notice there was a uh, action timer there, and that's largely it. Uh, we can carry four items, which we check with P. Uh, notice the transceiver is for... Teleportation. Uh, C4, well that's obvious. And the weapon is equally obvious, so let's C4 the hell out of things. Roll, knife some things. We could also kill that, uh, that poor defenseless animal, if we so chose. And enter shows us the map. And we will want to go this way. Unfortunately, uh, things are good at running away. So here's some crafting ingredients. That's one of the Monhan elements that uh, we'll be talking about. Damn. Um, yeah, when there is obviously a way of jumping down, you will. No sweat! And I could have grabbed that fruit. Mission complete! Mission complete. There we go. 
uh, only a limited amount of money for this mission, but uh, there are more missions. There's more stuff. So, yada 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 yada. Plot is evil guys. Uh, Team PMC, fuck yeah. Um, Bobby is a bit odd because, um, he has an intelligent helicopter. Miss Zero is our multiplayer, uh, friend. Basically, uh, you can have four-player multiplayer, and uh, yes, it does balance itself around. Uh, Cadillac is customization, I think. Oh no, Waylon and Runyon, the Runaway Brothers, parody of something, but I'm not sure what. Um, yeah, there are cosmetic folks. And Golden Gate is supplies. And the Colonel gives us our missions. There we go. Uh, and there's the bad guy. Baron Claw. What a beard. I mean, that, that's a bushy boy. La 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 la, war, 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 ha, evil. So, hmm. Can't do much there. So we've got stars if you can actually talk to people. But, hmm, honestly there's not a whole lot of reason for that right now. Okay, missions. As you can see, there are several ranks. Um, including the Dread Gathering mission. But uh, we will be talking about uh, Guns of Blades. gonna get right into it because uh, we don't have gun customization we don't have knife customization yet um... first aid very useful in this case and you know we're not doing bad damage with these handguns Oh dear. Longer reload. But rations are actually quite nice. Um, it's such a shame that uh, we're going to be missing out. Oops. I should not have used that first aid, but I did, so whatever. Now you notice that uh, using the knife repeatedly gives a little bit of air time. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Right. Because there's ba functionally infinite ammo, um, I will just be expending the clip. Uh, oh, and if we look at the map, we can actually see where we're meant to go, the far right. Uh, where are we at the moment? Not the far right. Applesauce. 
Yeah. Those guys are jerks. To be fair, everyone who is not you is a jerk. But some of them basic jerks. And some of them are jerks with way too many hit points. But they all have different drops. Well, some of them have different drops. Some of them just have very small hitboxes. We can go down or up here. Uh, to be honest, I kind of like down. Oh, did I say I like down? No. No, uh, the, the other one. Um, crap. Well, that was my fault. Oh, fabric. That's actually... Relatively rare this early. Oops. Applesauce. Yeah, we can't unfortunately action roll in there in midair. There is no midair roll. Uh, there is also no jump cancel. Just so you know. But everything is very pattern based, so if you know the pattern, you are fine. For example, you're generally not uh, at this early level shooting those guys before they hit you, so dodging. Oh, never mind, I make a liar out of myself. So generally, learning how to dodge is a good idea. Yes. Hmm. That wasn't a bad reload. Now that path is currently blocked off to the level we're in, but just like Monster Hunter, this area will expand. And here's our hostage. Who gives us a Metal Slug style? Thank you. Um, game's a little slower than Metal Slug, unless you've got the sprinting uh, option. Um, doesn't quite have the uh, weapon range of uh, Contra, or speed without the running thing. But again, you know, like, this is its own thing, and it's cool. And here's our gun customizer. Yeah. And Gun Annie. And, to be fair, caffeine warms my caffeinated heart, General. And he's a guy we're definitely going to rescue. But first... Weapon stuff. Uh, at the moment, we start with a Bolt 45, which does a respectable amount of damage. But what we'll want... Um, nope. Actually, this is a new weapon. We'll technically want the Sturm Rifle. We ain't got enough money right now for a Jaeger, though. And that's a little bit of an improvement. Barrels, none, magazine, none, uh, no sights, we don't earn those until the next rank. Ammunition, we will not be building this for quite a while. Oh, um, armor upgrades, again, we don't have the materials for that yet. But that's fine, because we're going to save Ironside. 
This time we're rescuing multiple hostages, and there might be a secret objective. <gasps> Just, you know, to let you know. That's very quiet today. But there we go. Um, Ready to rumble! Yeah, the knife can indeed deflect bullets. Um, this is something you really need to learn. Along with the fact that these jerks uh, don't fire down. So let's just wait here and... Stab, stab, stab. Shankity shank. Shank. Lead is one of the most basic items, but it's also one of the most useful, and those assholes. Um, I don't like the drones. Yeah, there we go. There was one example, a very clumsy example, of uh, deflecting with a knife, but... Like I said, we will get to, uh, we will get to the quick hook when the time comes. Bam! Now, the thing is, the enemies will respawn occasionally. Not what I was trying to show off here. Um, oh yeah, hostages will be all over the place. I'm not sure if they show on the map. I don't think... Not all of them. Some of them. Oh, wait, no, all of them do. Never mind. That's useful, ain't it? That's not. Uh, notice how we've only got a couple of hostages here. Most of the rest are in the other map. But uh, let's deal with the ones we got. And while we're here, rescue this poor tourist. There's our secret objective. Find four copper. Uh, in this case, I believe it's uh, in various crates around the uh, area. Which can also drop rusty pins, because, you know... Now, didn't we already go in here? No, we didn't. Thank you. Okay. We have now... Uh, Drained all the utility from this area. And died. Because I am good at video games. Um, there's some of our copper, by the way. I don't think we can get that, though. Not without a special jump or something. Um, I don't know. Leap of faith? No. No, that's not going to cut it. The thing is, I did actually have healing items. Oh well. Well, it doesn't matter, we're gonna run the hell away from that guy. Not deal with you. Duck you. And start going right. Bam! Better. Hot stuff. Thank you. Yeah, all the hostages are now in these buildings. ration up and go for that sniper Bam! 
Nice. Relatively uncommon drop there. Ugh. Right, we missed one building along the way. It's off. Which, of course, means more dealing with some of the uh, fauna of the area. Fuck it, objective done. Secret objective not done. But, you know, like 20, 25 minutes, I think it was. That ain't too bad. It isn't speedrunning. Okay, and now we got Ironside, and I get to show something interesting. Not his hat. No! So Cadillac will occasionally help you in missions. Uh, while we're here, we did get some stuff. Let's see if we can... Uh... Nah, we're still missing steel, um, probably because of my ill-advised purchases. Um... Stocks increase accuracy in exchange for weight. Uh, also, we do not currently have a chance in hell of getting any of these mods. Silicon and feathers are both pretty rare and pretty annoying to get. Uh, is this rescue iron side? Yes! Like I said, we really want to rescue iron side. Um, 15 minutes is not actually a bad time limit, especially since we have a map to show him, uh, I show just... where he is. Infirmary, lots of chests, uh, which will have C4 in them. Not that we're running out of C4 anytime soon, but... We'll get there when we get there, and these birds are an asshole. Yes, I did deliberately take damage so I could grab that crafting ingredient. I'm a terrible human being. Anyway, C4! I believe we can only carry one at a time, but that's okay, we're gonna get replenished quite often. Here is we want to go up. Oops. Badly reload. Oh, what do you know? A rare drop. Uh, we actually get two C4 there. Uh, of course, this all requires us to survive long enough to use it. Sometimes, especially in the early game, the uh, combat can be a little tedious. Oh, 
So, uh, whoever liked Sniper Joes? Did, did anyone ever like Sniper Joes? Oh, yeah, I've actually got the C4. Um, nice, no, some of the drops are actually coming a lot more commonly than they were when I was playing. So, uh... Fuck. Dying loses you some money. And as you can see here, brings you right back to the fucking beginning. Or the nearest medical area that you've unlocked. Unfortunately, enemies also respawn. All of them. Well, no, not all of them. Thankfully, not the most annoying. I repeat, did anyone like Sniper Joe's? Not where we need to be, but... Ooh. Actually, I want that. Glass is kind of hard to come by. So what we need to do is we need to go through these quarters. Deliberately take advantage of our light weapons, uh... Increase jump height twice. By the way, uh, weapon weight does actually have a is actually a consideration. Uh, I wouldn't be able to make that jump if I was carrying, say, the recon rifle I like. As you can see, waiting in, uh... Waiting in the infirmary will heal you some. It will not give you... Well, no, it will give you all the healing if you're willing to wait. But of course, the longer you wait, uh, the more time you're not killing things. And... The last time you have to complete your objectives. Now that's a rather sneaky trick. Jumping actually ensures that uh, that second one will come active. Uh. And we don't have that far to go, and we do actually this time ah! have a medical hut to respawn in. But it's still annoying every time you die because, of course, you've lost out on that sweet, sweet cash money. Right, here's Ironside. Thank you. Catching. <sighs> Mission complete.
Uh, duh, 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 the Steel Soldiers. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to show those off very quickly, but first... It's time! Oh wait, no we don't. We don't actually get it yet. Ooh. You mean to say that the quick, quick hook is no longer a thing? The, uh... I was sure the quick hook's there. Something you seemingly got for uh, having flint hook, and uh, I don't see it anywhere here. It did 800 damage and had a silly range. Um, it was also free. Still, uh, some of these knives are now easier to get. Um. I guess we'll make one. One-Eyed Joes, by the way, are the snipers, obviously. Um, well, it might be this, actually, to unlock it. Nonetheless, let, let's at least try and do things legit and neutralize a Steel Soldier, which is a boss monster. Uh, uh, yeah, why not? We'll do a Steel Soldier, then I'll switch the Emperor save, uh, show off the uh, quick hook if I've still got it on that save. I should. Let's get some claw. Uh, right. We have uh, a couple of things. Uh, you'll notice we got the location of steel and two possible boss locations. Uh. Go away. Here's one of the two boss arenas, but uh, looks like this is not the one he's at. So, let us instead, as the nearest uh, cave exit, it's across the way. Switch over, go left a little bit, and... Bam. That's weird. Oh, that's some of our steel. Unless... Seriously misremembering things. We should actually have uh, already met the Steel Soldier by now. Odd. Might as well grab some steel while we're here. Oh, I'm sure there was some there. 
Oh, whatever. There's some there. Well, that was silly of me. Hopefully you can action reload. And there's these jumpy mandrake assholes. Grr. Oh, four possible weapon arenas. Four possible arenas, even. Right. That would explain a lot. So, yeah, early game difficulty. It ain't great. Thankfully, this guy is not terribly smart. But he will always do that when he's very close. Although occasionally he will just jump backward rather than what we want. That's what we want. Never knife you when he's this close. Oh, however, he might fake you out like that. And if he stomps you, well, see that little life counter in the bottom right, bottom left? Anyway, we know he's this way. missions early on. And this is one of the, uh, the less sterling features of the game, in my opinion. But, uh, Yeah, early game difficulty is still a bit... meh. And so it gets a bit grindy at times. Combined with some rather hard to dodge enemies and the fact that your dodge roll does not in fact uh, give you iframes, that I know of anyway, um, yeah.
Oops. Uh, ready using the first aid. Oh, wait, shit. Okay, that was legit my fault. That was just annoying. I will never not find them annoying. And occasionally, the enemy will just run away to another place. Especially when injured. In the case of a 2D game where the route is strewn with enemies, this isn't irritating at all. Nor, in fact, is that. But eventually we did it. Yay. And that was our secret objective, to get the boss drop. So, uh... Mission complete! As you can tell, I'm, I'm not 100% enthused about this game. Um... Plot, 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 plot. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, quit now that we save and go to my Empress sa save. Yes, yes, that that's exactly what I did. This is the quick hook. See if I can uh, strike blade. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's um.
much show off the quick hook since it seems to have vanished. Um. And another boss. Yeah. Let, let's do that. Unless there's some, like, command or other that I'm missing. Um. Maybe I am. It's, like, it's only been out for three hours. Uh, right. Do we have any idea where the Raid Rover is for sure? No, we do not. So we just head right for now, I guess. Look at that. 800 damage. Straight up. Now, my weapon is not much worse. Uh, you'll notice I'm slow as hell, and that's because my weapon is heavy as hell. Uh, all of them are. So, my jump height is very poor. Right. Well, I died easily. I show off the gun while uh while I'm here. Let these assholes move and Yeah. Almost as much damage as the uh the other weaponry that we had at the beginning there. Just in case you thought you could uh, abuse things. actually a bad boss fight, all told. Apart from that ram, uh, I've got to work out how to deal with that. I don't think I can do very well with uh, just a basic jump. And by a basic jump, I mean a crap one from, like, heavy equipment, which is my fault for picking heavy equipment that goes boom. Oh, and he's moved. Where's he moved? Back left. Or rather, right. Words. Yes. If we go here and then right, we've got five minutes to finish off the road. The, the raid rover. So close. We got him to red. Of course, we got no lives left, so, you know, we screw this up now. That's better. Okay. Uh, track plate is an item we will need for certain things, so killing the raid, raid rover over and over again, or capturing it as uh, one mission. mission complete. There are neutralizer capture missions, just like Monster Hunter. Um, so, yeah, that went badly. But I showed off a cool weapon that I'm not even sure is in the game anymore. Um... And I'm halfway to upgrading my armor.
and occasionally buy uh, rare materials. I didn't actually know that. Oh dear. I'm genuinely trying to work out what what's going on with the, uh, the DLC now. Oh, and this is the uh, resistance who joins us. This tourist joins us after saving the um. And this is our room where any equipment sets we have are saved. So this has been a short look at Mercenary Kings, even if I'm terribly, terribly, terribly confused as to what the fuck is going on with the quick hook. Um, and I'm not terribly up on the game. Um, yeah. So, uh, we're gonna take another quick break, and then I'm just gonna uh, be streaming Tokiden 2 for uh, shits and giggles, basically. As usual, if you like the videos, if you like the reviews, which, you know, are incoming in the case of Mercenary Kings Reloaded, uh, then, yeah, please uh, support however you can, whether that's fiscally through the uh, donation or um, through social media by basically sharing the love. Anyway, uh, this has been Jamie the D, the Mad Welshman. This has been Mercenary Kings Reloaded. Uh, and see you soon.